Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to just sit down and do like a get ready style video with you guys and show you how I style my hair and what I use for hair care just to keep it really healthy because it is color treated. I do lighten it sort of every six to eight weeks, just it actually needs doing at the moment. But um, yeah, I try and keep it really healthy and shiny. I find it really important to give back to my hair through you know like good oils and shampoo and conditioner. When your hair is a bit lighter it is hard to keep it really glossy and shiny so I'm going to take you guys through what I sort of do, um, what my routine is to keep my hair really healthy looking and also how I style it and a few tips and tricks. Yeah, I've just been to the gym this morning which you will see in the next clip. So I've got a few clients this afternoon in the city that I'm doing just hair and makeup for so it desperately needs a washing as you can see. So to show you guys what I've been using lately is the L'Oreal Paris LV Color Protect range and this is the shampoo here. I just wanted to show you guys how much I use because you don't really need a lot. It lathers really well and the conditioner is almost like a mask. It's really thick and rich. I've freshly washed my hair and I've just put it up in this towel so I'm going to take it out and just comb it through or brush it through and as you can see here after using the shampoo and conditioner the brush just runs through it so easily like no knots it's just so smooth. So now moving on to the most important part which is our heat protection. I'm using the Extraordinary Oil from L'Oreal LV range as well and just put quite a few generous pumps of that through my hands and working it through the mid lengths and ends oh, and it smells so good. So this is just going to really protect our hair from the heat and make it silky smooth and even more glossier. So once I put the oil in my hair I actually like to wrap it back up so that it soaks up any more moisture in the hair and with the power of editing my makeup is done and then I take the comb again and just sort of run it through and like I said the comb just runs through like a dream it makes my hair so smooth and just not free which is oh, just the best thing love these products so then you just want to take your paddle brush or any old hairbrush and your hair dryer and I like to really lift the roots as I dry and try and focus on the roots before the mid lengths because that is the best way to get body in your hair and you'll see that as I'm drying my hair I just really try and dry it sort of all different directions like I am here so that just again it helps with body and especially if any of you girls that have cowlicks this is the best way to kind of get them into shape and like make them behave. <laughs> love most about these products is I literally just blow dry my hair I don't have to straighten it, it saves so much time and it's already really soft and smooth and just looks really healthy and not too frizzy so as you can see here I'm just gonna section up my hair from the top of my ear back and then just clip that away and I'll show you how I get my wave so I take the section and I pretty much clamp it in the middle of that section and then just twist it down and you should be left with a nice sort of soft curl. So I just like to repeat those steps except each curl that I do I like to do in the opposite direction from the last so this one is going sort of onto my face and yeah you just want to continue to sort of go um, forward and then back and then forward and then back and then this stops the curls from looking too uniform. A good tip with this curling technique is you want to almost keep the straightening iron horizontal and that way it's going to give you the best wave and not too much of a ringlet. And another little good trick I like to use, as you can see here, once I finish this section it was a little bit too curly for my liking so you literally just take the straightening irons and smooth over the part that you think is too curly and that will really 
relax the wave and make it just look a little bit softer. So now is my favorite part of the whole process. Take your comb, run it through the waves, and this is just gonna really break everything up, make it look a little bit more messy and tousled. And this is one of my favorite techniques to do. I just like to take a few little sections and smooth them out with the straightener. Not completely, but it kind of just makes everything not look so uniform. And then lastly, you just want to take one last drop of our extraordinary oil and just run it through. This is really going to define all of the waves and just help with any flyaways. Just add a little bit more moisture onto the ends and of course just really amp up the shine. That's pretty much the video all finished. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. It's actually the first get ready with me I've done on my channel so I hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you next time.